Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Nice Sunday out, a little bit of snow, um, but at least the temperature is bearable for now. Um, so today I'm here to talk to you real quick about fiber and the importance of fiber, um, some of the benefits that it has, um, and then the recommended daily amount we would like to see you get. Um, so the recommended daily amount of fiber that we like to see in clients is for age 50 and younger for men is 38 um, and for women it's 25 grams and then for 51 and older um, men is 30 grams and women is 21 grams um, so in these numbers are are based on obviously age which i just mentioned um, and then men and women vary by the amount of food they eat as does the age group. So the older you get, you tend to eat less food. So your fiber number would go less, um, sorry, be less. Um, so dietary fiber, um, it's mainly found in our fruits, veggies, um, whole grains. Um, it's best known for its ability to uh, prevent or relieve constipation. Um, some of the other benefits of fiber is it helps us to maintain a healthy weight. Um, it can lower our risk of diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers. Um, dietary fiber, um, also known as roughage or bulk, um, includes part of plant foods that our body can't digest or absorb. Um, other, unlike other food components, um, the macros that we're used to them, fat, carbs, and uh, protein, um, fiber is not broke down and absorbed. Um, or sorry, it's not digested into our body. Instead, it passes relatively intact um, through our stomach, small intestines and colon and out our body. Um, there are two types of fiber or classifications of fiber. There's a soluble, um, obviously soluble means that it dissolves in water um, to form a gel-like material. It can help lower cholesterol and glucose levels. So soluble fiber, you can find that in oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley. Um, and then insoluble fiber, again, is just what it says. Um, it's a fiber that um, helps to promote movement of material through our digestive system. Um, it increases our stool bulk. Um, so it can be a benefit to some of us who struggle with constipation or irregular bowel movements. Um, insoluble fiber you can find in whole wheat flour, um, sorry, bran, nuts, beans, veggies. Um, a veggie that specifically was pointed out was cauliflower, um, green beans, and then potatoes. Those are all good sources of soluble fiber. Um, so some of the benefits of fiber is that it can help to normalize our bowel movements. Um, so as I mentioned, it can increase the weight and size of our stool and soften it. Um, a bulky stool is easier to pass, so it decreases our chance of constipation. Um, and it can help to uh, bulk up, like I said, if your stool. So if you have loose or watery stools, um, it can help to solidify the stool because it absorbs water and adds bulk. Um, so it also can help maintain bowel health. Um, so, a, a, sorry, a diet high in fiber, um, um, it helps you to not get constipation. So going to the bathroom is easier. Um, so it can help prevent hemorrhoids. Um, and then it also can help prevent small pouches in your colon. Um, maybe some of you have heard of diverticulitis. Um, so that's what that's referring to. Um, and then studies have also found that a high fiber diet um, likely lowers the risk of colorectal cancer. Um, so fiber also helps lower cholesterol less levels. Um, soluble fiber, I mentioned that above, it's found in beans, oats, flaxseed, um, and oat bran. And it can help lower our total blood cholesterol levels by lowering our low density lipoprotein, so our LDL protein or the bad cholesterol. Um, so flaxseed, I wanted to kind of touch on that. Um, I do add flaxseed to some things, but I don't use regular, I don't use whole flaxseed. I grind my flaxseed by myself. Um, and we would recommend doing that because the shell on the flaxseed is harder for our body to break down. So we're not getting that benefit. Um, 
And if you can grind your own, that is preferred because the longer it sits, um, it loses some of its value. So the ground flaxseed I'm talking about. So if you can buy whole flaxseed, um, I keep mine in the fridge and then I just grind some up every couple weeks. Um, I don't grind the whole bag. Like I just said, we want to make it as fresh as we can. So um, also studies have shown that high fiber foods may have other heart health benefits such as reducing blood sugar and inflammation. Um, another thing is that um, a high fiber diet can help control your blood sugar level. Sorry guys, I have my notes here. I wanna make sure I touch on everything. Um, so particularly soluble fiber helps with that. So it can help to slow the absorption of sugar into, um, sorry, absorption of sugar and help improve our blood sugar levels. Um, that being said, by regulating our blood sugar levels, it can help maintain our body's fat burning capacity and avoid insulin spikes that leave us feeling drained and craving unhealthy foods. Um, so for those of you that struggle with the cravings, having more whole foods and getting that fiber in you will help with those cravings. Um, it can help us achieve a healthy weight. Um, so fiber helps us feel fuller longer. Um, so it's likely we'll stay satisfied for longer when we eat those whole foods and we won't eat as much. Um, along with that, uh, since high fiber foods are our fruits and veggies, they also give us energy for the gym. So we have more energy, we're getting our carbs from those whole foods and we're getting the fiber. So they all go together, right? Um, the fiber also um, stays in the stomach longer than other foods. Um, so again, that feeling of fullness stays with us longer and it can help us eat less. Um, I already mentioned this, eating fruits and veggies, they have a lower caloric, caloric uh, value. And so we're getting fiber, carbs for less calories. Um, we don't look at calories typically. Um, we typically look at carbs, protein, and fat. But if you are paying attention to that calorie number, um, fruits and veggies have a lower number. So that can be beneficial for you. Um, so this is one that I found. <clears throat> I've been taking a class and we were learning about this and I found this pretty interesting. Um, so eating plenty of fiber can help us move fat through our digestive system at a faster rate. So less of it is absorbed. Um, why or, or how, how come, why does that happen? So it happens um, because soluble fiber binds to our bile acids that are secreted into the small intestine by the gallbladder. Um, those um, bile acids are what help us break down fat in our system. So the fiber that binds to the bile acids um, then gets flushed out of the system during a bowel movement. Because remember the fiber moves through our system and we um, don't tend to absorb it as much, I guess. Um, so we just, we excrete it. Um, and so then um, since the fat is attached, it's also leaving our system. And so ultimately it's resulting in less fat being absorbed into the body um, since those bile acids aren't present to help break down our fat for absorption. Um, and I already mentioned this one, but eating higher fiber foods, the fruits, the veggies, um, give us energy for working out. Um, another positive benefit of fiber is it can help you live longer. Um, so studies suggest that increasing dietary fiber increase, intake, sorry, um, especially cereal fiber um, is associated with a risk a reduced risk, sorry, of dying from cardiovascular disease and all cancers. Um, so that is something I read uh, that they said at the Mayo website um, in a study that they did. So cereal fiber, I wanted to touch on that a little bit. Um, so cereal type fiber is a type of fiber. It's not the fiber you get from eating cereal. I just wanna be really clear about that. Um, cereal fiber is found in bran uh, typically, but it's also in whole wheat bread, whole wheat pastas, brown rice, seeds, barley, oatmeal, um, other whole grain products. Um, 
So again, just to summarize, um, fiber sources, uh, whole grain products, fruits, veggies, beans, um, peas, other legumes, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, uh, nuts and seeds. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, um, we don't set fiber goals typically. We might um, if we see you're having issues with um, bowel movements or some other things. Um, but then we can tell by looking at that number um, what kind of food you're eating. So refined or processed foods such as canned fruits and veggies, pulp-free juices, white breads and pastas um, tend to be lower in fiber where your fruits, veggies, whole grain products are higher in fiber. So if we can see that fiber number, we know we can get a good idea of what you are eating. Um, the goal for fiber, again, is for age 50 and younger. For men, we like to see it around 38 grams. For women, we like to see it around 25. Uh, if you're 51 and older, we would like men to be around 30 and women to be around 21. Um, so fiber, I just, I wanna, again, just reiterate and stress the importance of fiber, the benefits it can give you. Um, it can help maintain a healthy weight. It can help you absorb less fat. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, and it also helps with healthy gut. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. If you struggle with um, gut issues, eating more fiber um, is helpful. Um, it takes those bile acids out of your system, some of them, so you don't break down as much fat along with many other benefits. So if you're struggling with something, um, talk to your coach and we would be happy to discuss it more and dig in. So I think that is all I have for today. Um, thanks for everybody who's watching. I don't see any questions. Um, so if you have one, feel free to type it. Hopefully it shows up. So other than that, I hope everybody has a great Sunday and gets an opportunity to go out and enjoy at least the somewhat warm weather. Um, it's 27 degrees uh, and I think it's snowing. Yep, it's snowing here in Northfield. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy a little bit of that snow as well. Um, I will talk to everyone later. Reach out if you need anything. Thanks.